Hello friends and fellow missionaries, my name is Trevor Owen and I just wanted to do a video to briefly introduce myself to you as I'm going to be the one leading the General Conference 2019 mission trip to the Dominican Republic. I'm also a pastor of spiritual formation at a church up here in Washington where my wife and I live and I gotta tell you I'm excited about this trip because there are a few things that spiritually open us up to being formed, to seeing God in new ways, and to doing good work around the world like a mission trip. It is incredible what happens when God's people go under His name to try and serve and help. But I, I want to emphasize something about this trip. And we'll do a few little training videos as we get closer, but, but I want you to think about as we go and set in your mind that our job there is to serve. See, my wife and I are on our anniversary trip right now. We rented a little old Airbnb place down at the Oregon coast and uh, been enjoying just sitting out here and you know making sure the bed's right, the Wi-Fi's good, and the restaurants we get to go to or where we want to go. This trip is all about me being served. If I don't like the bed, if I don't like the temperature or the weather, if the restaurant doesn't get my food right, you know, I, I have different expectations of that. The problem is, I think a lot of times as Americans, we take that mentality into the world with us. And we go and we have these expectations, these ideals of, of what it'll be like, and what the weather will be like, and what kind of jobs we're going to do. Can, can I tell you right up front, set in your heart that this is a trip of service. See, Jesus Christ, God of the universe who could have anything he wanted at any time with just a blink of an eye, said, I did not come to be served, but to serve. And, and that's the model for why we go and what we do. And so as we get ready to go to the Dominican Republic, because we're thinking about this trip and planning and the fundraising and, and all of this stuff, put it in your mind your job is simply to serve there. If, if we show up and they say, hey, we want you guys to do this construction project, and we want you guys to play with the kids, and we want you guys to do the music stuff, or help in the church, or just pray, uh, say yes. Because that's what they need. That's where they need to be served. And if it's hot, and it's sweaty, or the food's not exactly like you like, or, you know, I mean, you have to sleep on a bed where you bring your own sheets. These are the kind of things that, if we're on vacation, weirds us out. But we're not here for that, are we? No, we're here to see where God is at work among the Dominican people, and then let them help direct us into joining that work. The Dominican Republic is a huge, long history of Free Methodists. I mean, they have amazing people there that are doing incredible stuff. And you'll get to meet some of my good friends are Lenny and Louise and Bishop Cecilio and his wife, Marina, and a whole bunch of people. And it is going to be a transformative, amazing time. And I'm so excited you guys are coming. But don't forget that the reason we are there is to join with them and serve them. It's not even about the experiences that you get to take home or the stories you get to tell. God will do cool stuff in you and through you because that's how he works. But that's not the point. The point is to help bridge this difference, these distances between the Dominican church and the church in the U.S. and show brotherhood and fellowship and service. To, it's to serve Jesus and serve them. So set that in your heart and your mind, and you will have an incredible trip. I'm very much looking forward to meeting you in person, seeing you face to face, and hopefully this gives you a little bit to think about. God bless. Stay on mission. We'll see you soon.